It's what he would have wanted is a cliché, but surely a cartoonist would want a coffin covered in doodles and graffiti. This is the funeral of one of the Charlie Hebdo cartoonists shot in cold blood last week by two young French terrorists. 58-year-old Bernard Verlac had the pen name Tinu. His was one of several funerals today. France remains on edge. A policewoman was run over deliberately outside the presidential Elysee Palace, but police are now ruling out a link with last week's attackers. Paris is a city where nothing has changed and everything has changed. As thousands of troops patrol the streets, people are adjusting to a new, more troubled reality. The way they look at each other has changed. Paying his respects at the Charlie Hebdo office, the first Parisian we spoke to was Maurice Beche. He says, I think that Paris will change and Paris should change. I think the government should be a bit more severe. This family on the school run have Jewish heritage. It's never been an issue at their mixed school until now. To give you an example of um, something that doesn't feel very nice, our son came home yesterday saying, um, uh, is it true that I have a Jewish name? Don't you know we can change our name? You know, um, this is not going to help me feel safe. Around the corner, the halal butcher is used to serving the whole community. But business is way down for Walid Hajjali. He says it doesn't feel normal here. It's not like before. Everyone is scared. It's going to take a while to get back to normal. That could be a long time coming. Everything has changed here. And it's not just the things you can see. Simon Viger, 5 News. Paris.